You have reached the Enhanced Operatives Division Recommunications Channel. You should see a reactivation code on the screen. Enter this code in the radio. Reactivation key received. Your location is Control Point Babadat. This facility was recently evacuated. For security purposes, you will need to confirm your identity. You are being sent a capsule via our pneumatic tube system. Please send back identity verification. The use of telekinesis is permitted at your facility. Refer to projector slides if necessary. Target the capsule and pick it up. Bring the capsule closer and place the capsule in the open omatic on your left. Place an item of identification, as well as your broken earpiece, inside the capsule to connect to a handler. The pneumatic tube has been opened. Please place the capsule back inside the tube for transportation. Is it? I can't believe it. Agent Phoenix once again living up to your name. <laughs> I couldn't get rid of you if I wanted to. <laughs> and believe me, I don't. Let's see. Ah, I should have known you'd make your way to our Romanian control point after you saved the world blowing up Zor's base. Speaking of explosion, uh, you are right. Let's make sure nothing's wrong with the telekinetic implant in your brain. Try picking up the capsule we just sent you and freezing it in air. <laughs> Looks like your TK is okay. Good thing. We wouldn't want something attached to all our agents' brains to malfunction. Well, you do need to complete the recommunication protocol you initiated. Here, I'll walk you through the rest of it. Just like old times. Let's see. You're in Babadog, Romania, which should be this switch right here. That was not my fault. The surge blew the main breaker panel clean out of the wall. Bring it closer so we can get it working and get this power back on. Hover the panel in place so it'll be easier to work on. You'll need to solder those wires on the back before attempting a manual reactivation. There should be a soldering gun in that desk. If there's not, someone messed up. Great! Use that device to solder the broken wires, and we'll have this place powered up in no time. If you need to, refer to the projector slides. Great job! The breaker panel is fixed and should be ready for manual reactivation. Let's put it back. the Agent Phoenix I remember. You know, in order to avoid another surge, let's turn things on one box at a time. The cranks and tools you need to activate those boxes should be in this room.
turning. I'm glad you remembered the week-long turning camp we had last year. There should be two other boxes to reactivate. Find those tools. Only one electrical box left to activate before power is fully restored, and I can safely flip this switch in front of me. Oh, it's so tempting, Agent. Tools like these work best when they're good. Look around for boxes to slot them into. Ah, there we are. Well, I dare say you and I are back on the job. I never thought I'd be saying that again after we lost you. I'll spare you the sentimentality, but... Well, I was ready to call it a day after that Juniper business. But we're a team. If you're here, I'm here. Speaking of which, I have just the mission for the great... Agent Phoenix. Look at this place. I like what you've done with it. 
Your first mission is being delivered now. Don't worry, we're easing you back into view. It's time to get to work. We'll start you off with something simple, without world-shaking ramifications. Dr. Roxana Prism is a former inventor for the agency and the one responsible for creating the telekinetic implant in your head using a crystal known as kinesium. Dr. Prism has recently been absent from multiple check-ins and is considered missing. We're looking into her whereabouts, but in the meantime, she has sensitive research into kinesium that should not fall into the wrong hands. Go to her home in sunny California and retrieve that research, just so we know it's safe. So this is where Dr. Prism lives. Well, nothing looks out of the ordinary besides, well, everything that looks out of the ordinary. The kinesium. So this is where Dr. Prism lives. Well, nothing looks out of the ordinary besides, well, everything that looks out of the ordinary. The kinesium research we're looking for is likely in a computer. Find it before someone else does. Oh, hey! You must be from the agency. I didn't hear you come in. You must be a good agent. I'm Ro Butler, so just shout if you need anything. Actually, don't shout. I'll be right here. Dr. Prism proposed replacing agents with robots years ago. It seems she found other uses. Though this robot doesn't seem too concerned about his creator being missing. Hmm, let's stay on task. You like that couch compartment? <sighs> Me too. I wish I could just curl up in there, you know? So, how about a joke? Why did the robot love a magnet? Because there was an instant attraction. 
Instant attraction, he says. <laughs> That's a thinking person's joke. How do you like Dr. P's bar cart? I had a couple of design ideas for it myself, you know. That's the agency bar cart that comes with every agency home. Mine is less, uh, modified. to a gin and tonic is effervescence. I read that in a book. Now, that makes you drunk, right? I hear drunk agents make mistakes. you using telekinesis. If Dr. P were here, I bet she'd be pretty excited about that kinesium in your head. Oh, that's a... Uh, huh. I can't believe she still has that. <laughs> that was a long time ago. locked up tight, and only me and Dr. P know how to make it work. Hmm. Finding the right words to say is going to be tricky. It only took me two days to learn the right words for that password. You could say I'm kind of amazing at remembering. the modulator Dr. P used to find my voice. That's the modulator Dr. P used to find my voice. Pretty good, right? Hungry? Hold on. I can make this awesome thing. I never trusted Dr. Prism's robots, but he seems like a nice guy. Okay, eat this. It's okay if you don't like it. I'll be crushed, but it's okay. I knew you'd love it. The secret is deep thawing the shrimp in a microwave.
reveal the disappearing ape? I am just, just in awe of you. You're so cool. Robot friend is certainly happy for us. Dr. Prism's research has to be somewhere in this computer, if you can figure out how to use it. That's it! Oh, well, boot up failed sounds problematic. You'll need to figure out how to get around it. Debug must be some sort of special computer term. Perhaps Dr. Prism has notes lying around that could help. Debug must be some sort of special computer term. Perhaps Dr. Prism has notes lying around that could help. Let's see. Uh, my to-do list today is just... Uh, you know, I have to... Uh, dust or something. Always busy! Relatable. I dust three times a day myself. Debug must be some sort of special computer term. Perhaps Dr. Prism has notes lying around that could help. Great work. Now, figure out how to access that research. Oh, my poison trap worked! Tell you what, sit tight and let that poison do its thing. I'm gonna clear out so it doesn't clog up my vents. Man, this butler disguise was so good! Disguise? That robot has gone rogue! He better not have done anything to Dr. Prism! Looks like that's a slower poison, so you have precious time to find an antidote.
just like you have to make the antidote. Nothing can ever just be easy, can it? See from the poison. Oh, I hope Dr. Prism survived as well. Find that kinesium research before that killer robot comes back. How you doing in there? You dead yet? Just grabbing a body bag. I'm so disorganized today. I don't know much about computers, Agent. That's it. I, I just wanted to let you know that. That's the kinesium research we're looking for. Well done. I told you this would be an easy mission. So, now the agent's dead? I'm supposed to... Wait, the poison didn't kill you? This wasn't part of the plan. Oh, man. Uh, okay, I gotta call Dr. Prism. Call Dr. Prism? But I... I thought she was missing. Dr. B? The agent didn't die from the poison like we planned. What do I do now? They didn't die? How? Oh, oh, oh. This is the legendary Agent Phoenix. Widely considered to be Zor's greatest adversary. This is an opportunity to go beyond the disguise and trap training we planned and test your combat capabilities. It's much easier to replace human agents with robots if the human agents are dead. You know what to do. Agent Phoenix, thanks for showing me how to be an amazing agent. Sorry you have to die, but I will carry on your legacy as Agent Ro Butler. My first big laser battle. I hope I win. Oh, that's hot. Need to vent for a second. Don't mind me. That's it. You took out... Wait a moment. Ah, I see you've discovered the improvements I made to my robots. And all it took was giving Zor access to that kinesium research you came here to protect. That's right. Zor gets my research, and I get Kinesium for my robots. And once you're dead, everyone will see just how superior my robots are to frail, emotional, human agents. Until next time, Phoenix. Dr. Prism isn't missing, and she's working with Zor? I... I think I need a moment. Come back to base, Agent.
Dr. Prism, the mind behind telekinesis, working with Zor, the mind behind, well, every evil thing we've ever thwarted at the agency. To say we're in trouble would be like saying I enjoy tweed jackets. A gross understatement. It seems this won't be a walk in the park after all, Agent. With Dr. Prism and Zor together, who knows what they could accomplish?